Welcome back, prime and composite numbers. Let's put our name. You know what? On the last one, since I went to page two, I didn't put my name on the second page. Better do that in case they get separated, unless you're able to staple them all together, okay? Or you can come in here, come up to my stapler and staple it, feel free, okay? Staple them all together. All right, prime numbers. Prime, okay, first of all, the biggest trick is one is not prime or composite. It's a special situation, okay? It's neither, okay? A prime number is numbers you cannot, kind of like primary colors, you can't break them down any further. Like orange is made from yellow and red mixed together. Um, what is it? Green is blue and yellow orange to mix together, I, I think I remember. Uh, purple is like blue and orange or something. I don't know. Um, nonetheless, primary prime numbers are numbers that cannot be multiplied by any other whole numbers and obtained. You cannot factor any other numbers together to get it as a product. So they're your basic building blocks of multiplication and uh, multiplication tables, etc. So two, okay, um, nothing times itself equals two um, perfectly, okay, whole numbers. Three, nothing times itself equal or times any other number equals three. Four is two times two. So four is a composite because you can make it by doing two times two, all right? So five would be the next one, all right? Um, nothing times anything else equals five. Six is two times three, okay? Seven is prime, all right? Eight, two times four, or two times two times two, whichever way you wanna do it. Nine is three times three. 10 is two times five. 11 is prime, okay? 12 is two times six. 13 is prime, okay? There's there's some more past that. It keeps going, you know? So 14 and 15 and 16, you can do three times five for 15. Any even numbers, you can divide by two. So all even numbers are out now. You're just looking for odd numbers that three doesn't go into, pretty much, okay? Um, 17 is a prime number. 19 is a prime number. 21 is not. 3 times 7. 23 is a prime number. Uh, 25 is not because it's 5 times 5. 27, 3 times 9. Okay, so that's not prime. 29 is a prime number. All right, you shouldn't have to go that high though. All right, real quick, let's see how fast I can do. Greatest common factor. Greatest common factor is you want to make a table and just say how are all the ways I can get this number. So let's say 28 and 12, okay? So I, we don't want to count uh, 1 and 28, okay? I'm looking for um, other factors like so 2 times 14. Does 3 go in? No, 3 goes in 27. Does 4 go in? Oh, yeah, 4 goes in times 7. Does 5 no, to six, no, open, oh, we're back seven. Once you get back to seven, you're done. That table's done, okay? 12 is two times six, three times four. Ooh, that's it, okay? So now what's the biggest number on both tables? So 14, no, seven, no, four, yes. Okay, so four is the greatest common factor, all right? Now, lowest common multiple is when you, like, for example, you want to change the bottom of fractions and you want to, sorry if you guys weren't able to see that, okay. Uh, if you have two numbers and you need to change them to add or subtract fractions, you need to change the denominators on the bottom to be the same. So you don't want to just pick huge numbers and make your math so difficult. So you can pick the smallest numbers you can. So let's say we had... Um, eight and nine, for example, all right? You're just making a multiplication table. I'm looking for a number that nine goes into, okay? So let's try times two is 16. Does nine go into 16? No. Let's times eight times three is 24. Does nine go into that? No. 
Let's try times 4 is 32. Does 9 go into 32? No. Let's times 5 is 40. Does 9 go into that? No. Let's times 6 is 48. Does 9 go into 48? No. Times 7 is 56. Does 9 go into that? No. Okay, times 8 is 64. Does 9 go into that? No. Well, here's the obvious, right? Not, uh, 8 times 9 is 72. Does 9 go into 72? Yes. How many times? Times 8. Okay. So 72 would be what I would change the bottom of the... So if I had 2 ninths plus 1 eighth, you would have to change the bottoms to 72 ths, 70 seconds, whichever way you want to say it. Okay. Um, that's why you use least common multiples. Now, sometimes we have um, like 3 and 9. Okay. So let's say I have 2 thirds plus 1 ninth. Okay. Well, I don't have to change the 9. I can just change the 3. How many times does 3 go into 9? Okay. Times 3 would make it 9. Okay. So I'm going to times the bottom and the top of the fraction by 3. And I will get 6 ninths. 6 ninths plus 1 ninth equals 7 ninths. Okay. That's why we need to know it. All right. Thank you. Done with that one.